This is the e-commerce coffee break, the podcast dedicated to Shopify store owners who want to optimize their business for maximum conversions and revenue. Each week, you're going to get actionable advice and hear from special guests talking about various topics on how to run a profitable business on Shopify. Learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host, Klaus Lauter, and get e-commerce insights you can't Google. Welcome to the show. And we are live. Welcome to another episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today, I want to talk about a topic that might interest a lot of Shopify store owners because it has become very, very important. And that is how to make your Shopify store carbon neutral. So obviously a complex topic, and it might not be very simply to get to from a normal Shopify store, but I have a guest with me, Daniel Hadley, co-founder of Carbon Croc at carboncroc.com, who is dealing with exactly that topic. Welcome to the show, Daniel. Glad to you're here. So how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks, Klaus. Thanks for having me. Share a little bit about what you do, who you serve, and why you decided to start Carbon Croc. Listen, so Carbon Croc, it's an e-commerce integration. It's a Shopify plugin, uh, one-click install. What it will do is it will estimate the carbon impact of every product that you sell. And then at the end of each month, help you invest into Carbon Sync so that all of your products can be called carbon neutral. This idea generated from the depths of lockdown when uh, everybody was stuck at home, uh, ordering stuff online, there were more and more packages piling up in everybody's home. People were getting more and more conscious of all the delivery vans spewing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And a lot of people realized that something had to change. E-commerce hasn't got a reputation for being very sustainable. And consumers today, they want sustainable brands. That's what they're asking for. Um, I I read a statistic recently saying that one in three people, sorry, that's wrong, 73% of people, so three in four people (laughs) want their businesses to be more sustainable and they will change their purchase decisions based on how sustainable the brands that they're buying from are. And this is huge. It's absolutely massive. So that's a problem that we wanted to solve is like me as a small business, how can I become more sustainable? And for me, Carbon Crack is one of those solutions. Makes absolutely sense. So sustainability, obviously, for a lot of stores is definitely in their mind. But obviously, it's very difficult for, let's say, a small or medium business um, to really put that into place. I mean, everyone might have the idea that I can plant a tree or something, but how do that? How do I do that in business life? So what's your approach on helping businesses on that side? Exactly. There's, there's a lot of people who read about uh, Microsoft or uh, I think recently IKEA said that they're going to be carbon neutral by 2050 and they're pledging millions and millions of uh, dollars in order to to achieve this. And as a small business owner or a direct consumer brand, you you often think this is something that's not achievable. You're not a millionaire. You don't have infinite money in the bank. And you think, how am I actually going to address this whole sustainability, uh, sustainability wave that's coming? And... And this is the way, I'm not sure if this answers your question exactly, but this is what we want to address. We want to say to all of these small businesses, it is possible. It doesn't actually cost that much to become carbon neutral because with tools like Carbon Croc, and there are other other competitors around as well that give similar services, um, there's plenty of people out there who are trying to make a difference. There's plenty of people who will accompany you on the sustainability journey. And it's actually very easy for a small brand to go green today. Mm -hmm. So let's assume I have a store and I ship my products worldwide. So Mm -hmm. say it's a a product for a price point like $40, $50 produced somewhere in, I don't know, in in a factory in in, in China, whatsoever. And now they ship that worldwide. How do you Mm -hmm. come up with a calculation on how will this product or this whole process become um, carbon neutral? Sure. So there's two solutions for this. Uh, One solution is you go to a big sustainability consultant and get a full life cycle analysis. This is usually very costly. Um, You know, it can cost up to 50,000 euros, for example, for one product line. Uh, This is something that's inaccessible to a lot of people. You know, if you're a Coca-Cola and you make 10 million times the same product, then it makes sense. But for smaller companies, this is more difficult. 
So at Carbon Clock, what we're designing is an algorithm that will look at each process in the fabrication of whatever the product is that you're selling, and we'll look at each material individually. And with this algorithm, we can make pretty good estimations of the carbon impact from all the processes of making the product from its conception all the way to the front door of the customer. Our algorithms will let you know for the shipping, uh, whether it's by boat, whether it's by plane, whether it's by truck, uh, the type of materials that you're using, the type of processes that you're using, it will all add this up by itself. So all the technical stuff happens on our end and it will give you, the shop owner, just an estimation of the carbon footprint of your product. So that's all automated. I, I know that a lot of people who run their stores aren't necessarily math mathematicians or data scientists. Clearly, that's not their job. So that's why we're trying to solve that problem for you. Okay. So once I have set up everything in, in your system and your algorithm starts to calculating that, is that something that I top up on my sales price or how do, does that work on from the pricing side of things? On the pricing side of things, I think there's two schools of thought. Um, there's a lot of people who believe, so consumers believe that it's the shop's responsibility to make their products green. So people believe that it's a cost that the merchant should incur naturally as part of doing business. Then obviously there's a, another category of thought, which is, you know, if you want to buy a product that's more sustainable, you are going to pay more for it. And I think both are okay. The price has to be accounted for somewhere and it does cost a little bit to make your products carbon neutral. Most of our partners today, they don't pay more than 1% of their GMV in order to make all of their sales carbon neutral. So if you have a product which has a very high margin, this is not definitely not a big impact to your business. If you're working with tiny margins, then I can understand that might be difficult for you, in which case I think it's totally acceptable to slightly increase your prices so that you're not hurting your business by going green. There's a fine line between the two, and I believe it's down to every individual to decide how they want to solve that problem but there's definitely solutions in both directions. Okay, is that something you help with, um, basically advising your clients in which route they should go? Yes, we do have a, a return on investment uh, calculator. Um, so it's a financial mod model where you can plug in different statistics. You can plug in your conversion rate, the number of visitors you have, uh, the number of products that you sell, uh, the average order value. And once you plug in all of this information, we can give you a rough estimate of how much using carbon crop will increase your sales from displaying your green uh, credentials mm -hmm. and how much that will impact your bottom line. In some cases, it can even be net positive to install carbon crop. That means that for every dollar spent going carbon neutral, you might get $1.15 or $1.50 back. So by using carbon crop, by going green, by making that investment, you are actually getting a positive return on your on your bottom line okay that will interest a lot of people and obviously it's it's also about your image as a company as a brand and mm -hmm. I'm, i'm sure as you said in the beginning uh, a lot of people are not only looking for it but for them it's part of the decision making process of buying from a store or not now obviously there's a second step now we were talking about the financials and get the numbers right the second step is obviously putting it in place and putting something into nature are you helping on that side as well yeah It's um, like I said earlier, uh, you know, we've spoken to hundreds of businesses and often it's always the same story. You know, I'm a, imagine I'm a coffee roaster and my business is to sell roasted coffee. That's my expertise. I want to spend my time sourcing coffee, finding new blends, finding new ways to roast it, uh, making sure the packaging is the best, making sure my customers are happy. This is how I'm going to spend my time as somebody who roasts coffee. And I just don't have time on top of all of that to think about sustainability, to think about installing an extension, to think about, uh, you know, how is Carbon Croc going to work? So that's from the beginning, that's been our promise at Carbon Croc. Our motto is you run your business and we'll keep it green because we believe that you have the best competencies to do what you do and you know your job and we will do all the technical stuff for the sustainability on our end. So yes, we definitely help people implement carbon crock, 
and we accompany them along the way to their green sustainability journey. So is there a choice for a, a company in which kind of direction they want to spend the money on being carbon neutral? Today, all of the projects that we support are projects that are certified by either the gold standard or BCS, uh, which is Vera. Uh, these are the two major carbon certifiers in the world. So we make sure that every project that you're investing in has a real positive environmental impact on the planet. There are also co-benefits. Uh, these benefits are sometimes social. Uh, these benefits are sometimes educational. But every time there will be a metric that we can measure, which is how many kilos or tons of CO2 we're removing from the atmosphere. My personal goal since starting Carbon Crop has been to remove 1 million tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. And we're really excited to get to that number. But obviously, we can only get there if we're supporting real projects that take carbon out of the atmosphere. So within the panoply of projects that we support, you can choose which ones you would like to invest in as a merchant. But we make sure that these projects have a real impact and that every dollar you spend is going to bring a better world for the future. Can you give like a, a life example on is like, what does a merchant do? And will he then get, I don't know, um, a, a tree planted or five tree planted? Just some real experience. Yeah, sure. So one of the projects that we support, for example, is clean water access uh, for families in Laos. I'm not sure if you know, but most people in Laos don't have access to clean water. And this is a major issue. There's lots of bacteria, uh, it makes people ill, it makes them sick. So what they do in order to clean their water is they go outside, they cut down trees, and they make wood fires in order to boil the water. This is so far the best technique that they have within the country in order to deal with this problem. What we do is we support a project that brings water filters to these communities. So that instead of having a wood fire in their house, which already is you know, producing toxic smoke for the, the women and children often who are at home, uh, they're breathing in this smoke all day long. So instead of having this, now you have a water filter, which provides clean water. Uh, there's no more bacteria. People aren't falling ill. And on top of this, they don't need to cut down their own forests in order to source the wood. And they're not burning the wood, which is spewing CO2 into the atmosphere. So that's just an example of one of the projects that we support where it has a real social impact, but also reduces the amount of CO2 being emitted. Okay, no, I think that's a very good example. I have been to Laos and the impact, the environmental impact in the country is, is devastating. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a beautiful country, it's beautiful people, but you can see really what kind of damage has been done in this country already. So I think that's a very good project. Now, are there any industries or niches in the market that you wouldn't work with when it comes to merchants? Yes. So for the moment, our algorithm is efficient if you're in the textile fashion industry. So if you're making clothes, if you're making food or beverage, we can also deal with that. But when the products start becoming too complex, imagine it's uh, mobile phones, uh, computers, electronics, especially, there's so many different components that come from all over in the world. And for us, it's just too complicated today to get a precise environmental impact for each of these elements. Usually we work with products that have five, maybe 10 maximum materials or processes. That way our algorithm can remain precise and we can actually help people along the way. The more we can garnish data from these different manufacturers, the more we can feed our algorithm and the more precise it will get. So for now, those are the main industries. They're you know, very much within textile, uh, food and beverage, And we've also started doing homeware recently. So if a merchant is interested in working with you, how long, how is the timeline? How long does it take between a first contact before they basically can implement that in, in their store? It can be as quick as you want. We always speak to all of the customers that want to use Carbon Crack because we want to make sure that we're a good fit. And obviously that we are 100% cool with working together. There's some people who have come to us who wanted to do it their own way, who only wanted to offset just a part of their sales, but not everything. Um, we, we don't work like that. Uh, we don't want to participate in greenwashing. 
this is something that we've been against since the beginning. So for us, it's always been uh, have an introduction call, find out if we're a good fit. And if we are a good fit, then we can continue working together in order to make all of your products carbon neutral. I think that's the best way forward for everybody and where everybody benefits the most. So after the introduction call, we then let you think about it for a week. If you're happy to continue, then we get everything integrated within one or two weeks. So usually from A to Z, within less than a month, we can make all of your products carbon neutral. Obviously, store owners, business owners are always interested to get their most out of it when it comes to benefits. Now, you, you said mm -hmm. it can be financially um, obviously very attractive um, if it breaks even or even you make a little bit money on it. Any kind of um, sort of golden nugget that you have to share when it comes to marketing this to the to the world? Sure. I think there's there's no golden nugget to marketing apart from being honest. Uh, if you have a brand that you love, if you have uh, products that you that you enjoy selling, people that you enjoy serving, then that's going to come across in your messaging. If you're somebody who generally wants to make a difference and is knowledgeable about the negative impacts of e-commerce and wants to make a change, then your customers will see that and they will love you for it. And that's something I think that's really important is always be honest to your customers and they will respect you. Uh, they will become more loyal and they will start speaking about your brand to their friends, to their family, to their colleagues. And there's nothing more powerful than the word of mouth. So if I had one golden nugget, it would be that always be true to your customers, always be honest with them and you'll reap the rewards in the long term. That's wise words, Daniel. I 100% agree with that one. Where can people find out more about um, your business and the app? Listen, you can head to, over to our website. We do have a blog as well, where we regularly, regularly write content about how you can improve your store, how you can become more sustainable. So if you head over to carboncroc.com, that's carbon like a carbon footprint and croc like a crocodile, carboncroc.com. Cool. I will put the link in the show notes that everyone can go there. And I hope a lot of store owners will follow this link because I think it really makes a difference and should be something that every business owner has on his list to do. So if that's possible for, as I said, um, for the, the industry or the niche. Thank you, Daniel, for your time. It was really, really um, a good topic. I think there should be more out of there helping exactly with become carbon neutral um, than just a few com com companies. Sure. Thanks so much for your time and uh, have a great day. Klaus, thanks for having me. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, Klaus here. If you're a Shopify store owner and you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, and not sure what to do next to grow your business, you struggle to convert traffic into sales or turn website visitors into buyers, and you want to like have direct access to a mentor who can assist you with your store, strategy, offer, marketing, sales, and anything else you need, then I would like to invite you to apply for my Get Conversions program, where I show you how to remove the guest work out of growing your Shopify business and create clarity to optimize your business for maximal growth and profit. It's an application-only program. To apply, go to my website, klauslauter.com, to learn more. And finally, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I would be grateful if you would leave a quick, honest rating and review over at Apple iTunes. It's a huge help and allows me to reach more people with the podcast. Thanks in advance and until next time at the e-commerce coffee break.